the future tense in German. So it's very similar to looking at modals or helping verbs. So it's going to follow that pattern for modals in the verb placement. What we'll do is much like we did with modals, is we'll conjugate the modal, but for here we'll conjugate verden, which is the verb, and we'll put the main verb in its infinitive form at the end of the sentence. So it'll go all the way to the end of the sentence. So if we take a look at this example, we have here, I will read. This is our verb phrase in English. Who or what will read? I will read, subject. I will read, read what? Direct object, book. So here in German, ich werde. So we're going to conjugate, werden, lesen. And we're going to put the main verb at the end of the sentence. So that's still the verb phrase, werde lesen. Who or what will read? Ich and what? Ein Buch. So in German, this is the accusative, and the subject here is the nominative. Ich werde ein Buch lesen. We always want to be careful in German um, with these two little tricks here. Wollen is to want, and werden is future. The trick is. Um, or where it gets tricky, I suppose, is this false cognate, because we see ich will schlafen, and if you're an English speaker, you think will, I will sleep, but that's wrong, it's I want to sleep. So you always want to be careful with wollen and werden, make sure you're using them uh, correctly. So, what is our verb? Here we go. Conjugated is ich werde, du wirst, er, sie, es wird. So, ich werde, du wirst. Er, sie, es wird. Wir werden. Ihr werdet. Sie werden. And just kind of, that has to have that buffer E right there. Um, werdet. Ich werde, du wirst. Er, sie, es wird. Wir werden, ihr werdet, sie werden. Now, oops. in addition to this meaning, uh, future tense will, it also means to become. So, if we look at it in the context of what it is to become, like, ich werde alt, I'm getting old. I'm becoming old. Or if I were a studentin and I was studying education, I would say, ich werde Lehrerin. I'm becoming a teacher. So in the process of. So it can also mean become. So let's look at some examples. Uh, I gave some verbs here to help. So ich glaube, eine von ihnen wird sich gleich ziemlich aufregen. Hoffentlich nicht ich. Ich habe Asthma. So, um, I believe one of you uh, will become um, agitated or will get fussy immediately. And the zebra says, hopefully not I. I have asthma. And it's because Vorsicht, frisch gestrichen. So it's fresh, freshly painted here. So, the stripes. <laughs> Another example. Deine Alten, this is like your elders, the grown-ups, die Alten werden kotzen. So this is an ad for a radio um, program. They're marketing teens and young people. So the elderly will puke. Like, they're not going to like this. We're too cool. Uh, in a sign, you also have to be careful because Verden is used for passive voice, which we'll look at. Uh, but here's an example. Um, They'll be towed um, at, at your expense, basically. Um, Tollgutgefähr, um, so a rabies danger. Um, freilaufende Hunde, so like off the leash dogs um, and cats. This is for and. Uh, will be shot. Werden 
mustache while sitting. So try your hands at these four sentences. Schreiben Sie auf Deutsch. When you are ready, hit resume and we'll get the answers. Will you eat ice cream, Jens? She will go home. We will play soccer. I will learn Spanish. Yes, do ice essen, Jens? Wir wird nach Hause gehen. Wir werden Fußball spielen. Ich werde Spanisch lernen. 